Yo guys, what's up? Minecraft and Fraps or Mad FPS back again with another awesome gaming review for you guys. And today we're going to be kicking it back with some old tech, the Game Boy Advance SP from Nintendo that we all know and love. So, let's get to the review. Now this review is going to be very short and very sweet as this is relatively old technology and there really isn't much going on to this monster of fun. First things first, this thing is built like a tank. I've had this one pretty much since they came out, and I don't actually remember when I got mine because I've had it for so long. But trust me, you will not break this. I used to throw it at my sister when I got mad and drop it on the street and all sorts of crazy stuff, and it's still in amazingly good condition. Every single thing works perfectly. The buttons, as well as the right and left triggers all have awesome tactile feedback, and the D-pad, the A, the B, the start, and the select buttons I'll bring back memories, and for all those Nintendo fans out there, this one's for you. Nintendo's handhelds have always fit well in the hand, and this is no exception. For kids, it fits amazingly in the hands with this full metal body, and if you're an adult, it might be a tad small, but it's still big enough to be easy to use, unlike some other unnamed devices. The Game Boy Advance SP takes cartridges, which makes taking a bunch of games around kind of a pain, but it's all part of the vintage feel. Plus, the cartridges are super easy to swap out of the device, and there is zero loading time. Just like every product ever released, this also has its disadvantages. If you have a ton of games, cartridges are not easy to carry around. For the time, they were cutting edge, but if you want to go buy a Game Boy SP now, Keep in mind that it's not like your tablet. You can't go download games from the App Store. You physically have to carry around separate objects if you want to play more than one game. Overall, the Game Boy Advance SP is an awesome device with plenty of support still out there. You could probably still find a used one for around 30 bucks, and you really can't go wrong for 30 bucks. Plus, this thing was so hot in its time that games are just floating around for super cheap. My local GameStop was recently selling a copy of Super Mario Bros. for 79 cents. So, all in all, this thing is by far my favorite handheld gaming device of all time, and I give this thing, relative to handheld gamers of its time, a 9 out of 10. Against handhelds of today, I awarded a very respectable 8 out of 10, with points taken off simply because this technology is outdated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to let me know that you want more gaming video reviews. Let me know if you like my new handle, MadFPS, in the comments down below. And again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.